okay so let me check it here right here so okay we, we're about to get start right here so once again everybody welcome right here to this uh, webinar right here my name is Ezan Constantine and for the very first time right here for those who just joining me right here welcome right here to the live webinar we're gonna talk about what is going to happen to the dollar index right here what's happening next year 2020 now before we get started right here I just want to check with all of you right here if you all can hear me and can see me right now just go ahead there and type on the chat box uh, tell me where are you listening to me right now if you're listening to me all the way from Penang uh, just type it from Penang if you're listening to me live all the way from Kota Kinabalu from Kuching from Kuala Lumpur or from wherever you are just go ahead there and type on the chat box so let's see right here we have a Doris Fong right here how are you Doris we have Eric Tan as well from Kuching how are you guys okay who else right here Iman Shah brother Iman Shah how are you great 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 all wonderful people right here so, i'm so excited guys for all of you right here today are uh, we gonna have fun right here during this uh, webinar so we're going to learn a lot right here and we're going to discuss a lot so if you have question later on we can go to the end of the show right here and we can start to have a question so how are you guys you already have your dinner right here uh, you just uh, managed to get right here in time all right so just go ahead there and type in the chat box so uh, we're gonna have a lot of people right here uh, shortly about to join us right here and I think there's more people right here is about to jump in as well yes the number is continue coming in right now so it's really really awesome right here so I'm so excited right here uh, to share with all of you about what is exactly is going to happen uh, next year 2020 especially if you are a currency trader or foreign exchange trader okay now uh, before we go through that let me have a look if you guys can uh, see my screen right here I'm gonna share my screen a little bit here so tell me guys if you can uh, see my screen right now if yes just go ahead there and type on the chat box if you can see me you can see my screen guys can you see my screen right now okay all right okay if you guys can see my screen just go ahead there and type on the chat box okay so meanwhile we're waiting for the others to come right here okay so um okay let me have a look uh, just guys type on the chat box if you can see me right now okay can you guys see uh nick say he can see oh brother you must say the screen visual is all right okay that's great okay eric tan say yes okay that's great okay now for those who are listening to us uh, right now uh, I really highly recommend that you use earphone or headset that is definitely highly recommended to this program right here so that you can hear me and we can discuss further more okay all right so great okay so we're about to get started right here so once again everybody welcome right here to this uh, our special webinar right here now before we get started right here I want to read a little bit disclaimer right here uh, this presentation is only for educational purposes and should not be construed as a solicit uh, solicitation to buy or sell stocks or foreign exchange or futures or any other instruments mentioned herein so investment in financial market involves risk of loss and professional advice should be sought before investing or trading okay so right here in this webinar right here we're going to talk about the title for this webinar today is how to gain profits from the dollar movement in the year of 2020 so again right here for those who uh joining this program right here towards the end if for those who stay and those who register this webinar today and if you stay towards the end of this show i have a special announcement to make right here we have a free special bonus worth 699 ringgit is gonna be for you so i'm going to share with you what is the bonus so stay tuned towards the end of the program i'm going to share with you for all the audience that register this webinar today and tonight you're gonna to get this free exclusive gift from us uh, to you okay so all right so uh for those who uh, you know still do not know who I am uh, I just want to share with you again my name is Azon Constantine and for your information right here I'm a full member of Society of Technical Analysts I'm a certified financial technicians and I'm also a guest speaker right here for those who 
uh, familiar in the Mal Malaysian stock market right here. I'm one of the keynote speaker right here for Bursa Malaysia. Uh, in fact, one of the biggest events that we just done this uh, year is almost about 10,000 crowd. That's one of the biggest events that I just had uh, in Penang. And also, uh, I also a speaker right here for Bursa Marketplace Fine Expo, one of the Asia largest expo. And some of you also see that I also get features in the Equity Striker Berhad. Uh, we're talking more about technical analysis and uh, you know trading and investing right here in the Malaysian stock market as well. And for Asian, uh, you know, uh, largest expo as well, I was invited right here also as a guest speaker talking about technical analysis in foreign exchange markets. So uh, until today, uh, it's a very humble beginning for me. I start with only one, two, three uh, people right here, teaching them, guiding them, and until today, uh, I impacted more than 1,500 traders face-to-face -face personal coaching with me as well, and also 24,000 uh, traders uh, in the traders community. And recently also, I was featured also in the online trading summit that just recently happened where we have almost 50,000 viewers from uh, seven to eight a nation in Asia. So uh, this is for those who just want to know me. So uh, yes, of course as well, I got features as well in Focus Malaysia and also the Borea Post. So uh, this is a um, wonderful journey for me right here. And today I want to impact for those who want to trade uh, in the currency market right here. Now, for those who are just joining it, uh, us right here, once again, welcome right here to the show. This is a live webinar that you're watching right now. Okay, now, I have a question for you, for those who are watching this webinar right now. I have a question for you. I, I just want to know which category of trader you are in. So, uh, I'm going to put a few categories right here. I just want to know you better today, okay? so. Tell me which category you are. Are you a category A, B, or C? So category A, okay, is a uh, you know trader. Those who trade less than five years in the market. Uh, those who still consider still learning. Uh, those who consider you know still beginner or newbie. Uh, those who also already trade in the market, but your result is you know just moderate, just so so. Okay, um, and I want to know also whether you ever hit margin call means you trade in the market and you know your money was wall up by the market you put one hundred dollar is gone you put three hundred dollar is gone anyway if you ever hit margin call also you are under category a okay and those who are listening right now if you never ever heard about forex exchange or forex okay or never learn complete modules of forex you also will be under category a and also those who already attend, attend all the courses but yet still do not have consistent result you also on the category a okay now category b is for the trader uh, trade more than five years already already master both fundamental and technical analysis uh, prefer advanced and pro level course and of course this kind of trader already generate consistent uh, result uh, or more than one hundred thousand dollar profits okay and uh, category b right here is those traders who already trade or invest in the market more than 10 years definitely master both inside out about fundamental and technical analysis uh, prefer pro elite traders program and this kind of trader already generate consistent result or more than 200 to 500 thousand dollars or half million dollars so we're talking about dollar if you you know Converted into ringgit Malaysia is should be around two millions right here. Uh, this kind of category C is prefer seven figure portfolio. So I just want to ask each of you right here, which category you are in right now? Are you a category A? Are you a category B kind of trader, or are you category C? So if it is okay right here, just go ahead there to the chat box right there, and just type there so that I get to know you better today. All right, so for those who are watching this show right here, so just go ahead there, type on uh, the comment box right here. Okay, so we have uh, Eric Tan right here, he's a category A. We have uh, Doris Fong right here, category A. Uh, Iman Shah right here, category A. Uh, Bruce here, category A. Anybody here is uh, category at least B or C? Let me have a look. Okay, so we are waiting. Hopefully we can see at least one category C here. 
Okay, so most of you right here is category A. So thank you very much for giving a very, very good response right here, very good feedback today. Okay, so webinar content for today. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the outlook of the US dollar. So we're gonna talk about what is going to happen for the long term, uh, medium term, and short terms. Okay, and we're gonna talk also today about uh, how Forex trader can gain profits from the dollar movements uh, in the year of 2020. So we're gonna learn, we're going to study together about how you can take advantage of the dollar movement in your trading. Okay, and then the next one is actually, we're gonna have a look a little bit on the major pairs right here and a little bit of the minor pairs. Okay, and right here, we're gonna share with you the swing trade strategy. Uh, we have a very interesting indicator right here I'm gonna share with you later on, on how to swing, okay, how to swing the trade where you have the potential, potential, all right, to generate profit about 150 pips and you're gonna have a manageable risk, which is something less than 40 pips. Okay, so that one, we're gonna talk about that one shortly. And we're gonna talk also today about the 10 mistake by new Forex trader and get to know what are the frequent mistakes by the new Forex trader and learn how to avoid it. Okay, and those who are still newbie right here, we're gonna give you, uh, those who attend this program right here, we're gonna give you a free bonus towards the end right here that it's worth 699 ringgit. Okay, for those who stay tuned with us live right here. Okay, for those who are probably watching this later on is already pre uh, pretty much become recorded already, so it's not counted, okay? So uh, we have a few comments right here. Uh, we have a Chiu say he's in A, Faiz A, and Loretta A. So uh, I saw some of you right here already uh, get the ultimate forex program UFP. So I would like to congratulate uh, you all, especially right here, I see the attendance. Uh, Doris, congratulations to you. Uh, we have brother Bruce, we have Loretta. So once again, congratulations. I believe each of you already, uh, you know, access to the online learning program, module one, two, three, four, five. So just uh, a little bit right here for um, uh, Doris, Doris and Kevin. Uh, also Bruce and Loretta right here. Just quick question right here. Uh, did you manage to go and, you know, go through to your online learning already? So just give me a feedback right there. I want to know. So how's your learning so far? Is it so far so good? Just uh, go ahead there and type the chat box. I want to know a little bit right here. Okay, so just share with us right here because you guys are among the earliest one right here to get the ultimate Forex program full learning course right here and i want to share uh, i want to check right here each of you okay i want to congratulate each of you right here because you are starting it right right here in uh, trading the forex market okay just go ahead there and type on the chat box so we're going to talk about the outlook of the us dollar shortly um those who can give me a feedback just go ahead and uh, we're going to talk about that one later on uh, for those who already uh, subscribe to ufp okay now a little bit quick update right here Okay, now, uh, whoa, let me see here. Okay, Doris say, good, a lot of info. Congratulations, sis Doris and brother Kevin. I really hope that this program is going to be something that you guys waiting so far right here. Okay, so if Doris, if I get a chance to go to Penang, definitely I will go to Penang and eat nice uh, uh, Penang laksa with you. Okay, so uh, for those who just join this program right here i want to share with you a quick update about what happened to the forex market today now did you know that today forex market turnover we talk about the daily turnover right here is already achieved 6.6 trillion dollar back in 2016 this number is only 5.1 trillion dollar today forex market officially the largest market or the most liquid market in the world 6.6 .6 trillion dollar so this is the latest survey right here by trino survey so we have a pdf right here so this is the latest news uh, shared by the edge no uh, edge newspaper right here global daily forex trading at record of the us 6.6 .6 trillion dollars so that's mean what you actually are trading the largest market in the world where buy and sell happen in such a quick period of time you don't have to wait for the queue okay and also i'm going to share with you that 
is a liquid market that compared to stock market, okay? If you combine New York Stock Exchange, you combine Tokyo Stock Exchange, and you combine London Stock Exchange, if you see these three giant stock market combined together, 22.4 billion turnover, at with 18 billion turnover, so you see this number is pretty much less than 50 billion dollar for stock market alone. But look, when we talk about forex market right here, is a 6.6 .6 trillion. Let me repeat again with the alphabet T and not B. Okay, so just to let you know that you are those who are trading in the forex market right here, you need to get your facts right. You are trading actually in the world most liquid market and the largest market okay so this is just a little bit facts right here okay ah okay we have a feedback already right here okay so uh doris fong said great looking forward to see and loretta already said i'm still in module number two so many info in the modules the explanation are very simple and easy to understand great 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 loretta that's great to hear from you uh bruce says right here lots of info uh, at the UFP in such a creative way in delivering knowledge content very powerful bro congratulations brother Bruce so yeah this is all the first early subscriber to the ultimate forex program so congratulations to you all okay now forex market right here one of the largest market as a trader right here it is a must at least for you to understand this market right here I know some of you probably right here already trading in stock market maybe in Bursa Malaysia or maybe US stock exchange or probably in your country right here you're trading or investing in your stocks market right here but as a trader right here you must open up yourself right here to the world largest market right here which is foreign exchange or currency trading okay so right here we're going to talk about uh you know uh, what happened back in 2016 and 2019. now if you see right here this is the largest market which is the spot market which is the current market right here is governed 30 percent uh, of the entire market of forex right here so spot market is where you and i right here we trade in the market meanwhile the largest right here 49 percent go to fx swaps swap is actually for those who like to play with the currency interest rate so normally bank or government bank they would normally go for the swaps okay so for traders like us we're gonna go a lot right here at the spot market okay so we're gonna talk about right here are you guys ready we are going to talk about the outlook for the us dollar movement so i'm going to share with you the analysis for long term medium and short terms and some of this right here i will be doing live analysis right here so i'll be sharing with you some of the idea that what i see from my point of view right here and hopefully that one will help you to actually see what is going to happen uh, to you all on the next year now I just want to share with you for those who are watching this show right here today is actually 10th of december okay so while you're watching this show right here is actually this analysis is been done right here today on the 10th december and for those who are trading the currency market right here just want to tell you all december usually the most volatile market okay the market is very volatile and you will see the market is going to have a lot of it, you know sideways and suddenly sudden upswing sudden downswing uh, this is usually common right here because towards the end there's a lot of uh, you know the end of the year uh, you know window dressing you know announcement is to be made rate to be made so that's why uh, you will see that the month of December right here many of traders you know struggling to actually get in the temple like if you see what happened like in November October the market is really nice in trending but when coming to December right here you start to see that you, you're gonna hit a little bit here stop loss here and there so it is quite common yes so it's quite common right here happened in december but what is happening on the next year 2020 year the year of 2020 is the year that you want to know where actually you you're gonna head okay now why it is important for a currency trader to look at us dollar movement because us dollar is the most traded currency in the world the dollar right here so it's very important for us to know uh, the movement okay now just want to share with you that next year in the year of 2020 everybody know that is going to be the u.s presidential election okay so as you know right now 
who is the president of who is the current president in us right now anybody can answer that <laughs> okay just go ahead and type in the chat box who's actually the current president right now in the united states okay is it a republican or is it a democratic so let me have a look right here who can answer this Doris uh, Fong say Donald Trump. Okay, that's good. So is it uh, Democrats or is it Republican? Anybody can answer that. <laughs> okay, so later on I will share with you this uh, one uh, studies right here is done by three university, uh, two universities right here. They talk about the each presidential has related with the parties and the dollar movement pretty much related so tonight is pretty much very interesting uh topic right here so eric tan say republic yes that's great okay doris fong say republican so uh, i'm going to share with you right here today there's a two university do a study about the u.s dollar movement for every presidential uh, election or every presidential cycle. So two university uh, study this, uh, University of Arkansas and uh, University of Texas at Arlington. So what they do is actually they study the presidential cycles and the foreign exchange market. Now, uh, in United States, this two party right here is very, very big, which is the, uh, you know, Democrats and Republican. Okay, so now what they study right here is pretty much interesting where the results show that if Republican presidency, they tend to start with a strong dollar first. And then right after that, which tend to depreciate, which tend to go down over the course of the presidency. Meanwhile, Democratic, like previously you all know, President Obama is uh, Democratic. Okay, so what happened uh, in, in contrast is the Democrat, uh, Democratic presidency tend to begin with a weak dollar first then slowly the dollars start to appreciate now is it this study is quite significant let's have a look on the chart right here okay so this is the chart right here showing that the u.s dollar values over the course of u.s presidency okay so this is the figure plus of the values of the u.s dollar since 1973 to year end 2016 again two real trade weighted indices and major currency index against seven major currencies and a broad index against 30 currencies so u.s president uh, presidencies are indicated with republican presidency in light red uh, in a light red and democratic presidency in a light blue so i'm going to highlight which one is belong to republican so george w bush is republican gwh and reagan is uh, republican and uh, we have a Nixon's and Ford right here is Republican. Meanwhile, uh, Carter, Bill Clinton, Obama right here, uh, they are the Democratic. Okay, now let's have a look right here. Okay, this is what they study. And somehow right here, it may give us a clue about what exactly is going to happen to the dollar on the year of 2020. Okay, now let's have a look right here. So uh, Republican right here look they tend to start with a strong dollar first but throughout the presidency look at that the dollar start to get what it start to get weakened okay now if you see that the democratic uh, democratic party started at the beginning right here they start with a very weak uh dollar right here but towards the presidency right here four years uh uh if you if you if you understand here obama actually have a two terms right here so it's actually eight years right here you see that a dollar is getting stronger okay bill clinton have a similar features right here okay start with a weak dollar right here and suddenly start to strengthening okay and right here Reagan right here so after Carter Carter right here back in 1970 19 um I think this one is 1978 right so it, it upswing right here and towards the Reagan time right here the dollar is strengthening but towards the uh you know the presidency the dollar start to weaken now what happened right here when um Donald Trump right here take the new uh, as a new elected as a new president right here. So uh, we're going to study that one shortly. And uh, this is the figure of uh, the dollar values against seven major currency over the course of U.S. presidency. So this is the the chart right here. I think um, maybe some of you cannot see this, but what uh, I think some of you may may found out that this image right here is not that really contrast. But I can share with you right here that whatever pairs 
again, the dollar right here will have the direct impact. Right here, I can say that have a quick direct impact right here is Australian dollar right here. So whenever, uh, you know, the you know the dollar weakening right here this giving advantage to the dollar as well Australian dollar so so this is a lot of figures right here now let's talk about the current situation right here I'm gonna share with all of you right here so this is uh, the movement chart movement okay so I'm just going to okay just going to change this a little bit okay so you guys can see okay all right so I'm going to change this uh, with a bit um, simple animation right here so that you guys can understand this better okay now let's have a look what exactly happened to the dollar index so as a currency traders right here one of the tips right here is you must study the us dollar index okay the dollar index uh those who join the live coaching this coming saturday 14 to 18 right here i will discuss with you all more about the us dollar index okay now for the long term right here Let's have a look right here, what we see right here. Now, anybody can tell me, beginning uh, 2018 April right here, okay, April right here, to the, uh, 2018, okay, 2017 right here. So, look, uh, when ha what happened to Donald Trump? Uh, he was elected during uh, 2016 right here. You will see that the dollar is actually, okay, weakening right here. But what is interesting part right here, after it entering uh, 2018, there's something interesting right here happened at the dollar right here it start to strengthening okay now tell me right here for those who can see right here at the 2018 right here beginning from the april 2018 until the current right here anybody can tell me is it the dollar is downtrend sideway or up trending anybody can tell me just go ahead there and type in the chat box what do you see here at what happened to the strength of the dollar right here do you see uh is downtrending or it's you know uptrending or it's sideways so go ahead and type in the chat box what do you see doris from say up okay who else right here okay so uptrend channel very good eric tan so he start to see right here is basically an up channel right here or in the chart pattern right here we call this pattern is ascending channel so in chart pattern right here ascending channel is actually a bullish pattern right here so it's actually supporting that the dollar is gonna be bullish okay so yes thank you very much everyone for your response you all are wonderful 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 audience tonight okay now what happened right here the dollar is actually strengthening okay beginning from the uh january uh, april okay until to date right here and if you guys can see right here the price is already uh move above uh, ema of a uh, 200 uh ema 100 and ema 50. okay now what we see right here is actually the price is correct is actually traveling right here at this ascending channel right here so this is in fact is a bullish pattern right here okay so what is uh the analysis right here so for the long-term view, for my view right here, I am still bullish about the dollar index right here. That's mean uh, the dollar for me, my prediction is gonna continue strengthening again uh, until certain point. And uh, index right now, if you guys can see right here, even though now that the index is actually hovering right here. So right now, what I can say is the index is actually supported well at the EMF of 200 right here, well supported. And it's not only that, it's not only supported by the EMA 200, but it's also supported by this uh, ascending channel right here. So it's a very strong core inside or strong, strong confluence. So you see right here, how many times is it touch? One time, two time, three, four. So this is a very strong support right here and if you guys can see also both of the ema 50 and ema of uh, 100 right here still remain above 200 to further support the bullish outlook so that's mean that we are going to predict that next year 2020 i'm going to observe this uh for the next three to four months next year Okay, so hopefully if, uh, you know, if there's any changes again, I'll come up with a live webinar again and to show you guys if there's any changes right here. But to let you all know right here, uh, for the long term, based on this chart right here, I am 
bullish uh, for the dollar right here and it's pretty much also coincide with the upcoming election remember we talk about uh, you know republican right here so there's a saying right here there's a study show that uh, possible we do not know but there's a study show that uh, donald trump have a high possibility again uh, to win but uh, let the market tell we do not know uh, what is the reaction but right here say for example if really donald trump is going to win again uh, again right here based on the study the dollar is going to be strengthening first before it start to weakening throughout the uh, middle uh, post election after four years of their presidency so uh, reason is um, when they make the dollar stronger right here it's actually is good for you know the economy right here for for uh, for the US okay so it make the you know the currencies strengthening is good also and it's good for the stock market as well okay so right now you guys know that the stock market right here is for the US stock market as well is also going up high so this is my uh, prediction right here so what is the target right here so I did do some uh, projection right here if you guys can see that uh, this is my projection right here um, for the long term right here uh, the index is uh, anticipated to retest the resistance level right here at the 99.64 right here. And then I uh, predict that is uh, going to retrace a little bit right here uh, before it continue go up and testing the upper channel right here, which is there's a strong uh, confluence as well with the previous resistance right here. So uh, the next, if the index are uh, able to penetrate above 99.64, so the upward bullish uh you know projection will be 101.26 so uh my prediction right here the my my observation right here i'm going to see what exactly going to happen on the uh, january february until april so this is the date exactly i'm going to have a look okay so hopefully next year right i want to see whether this is gonna you know it's going to hit but again right here this is only analysis It's not really going to hit 100 percent okay so this is my prediction right here based on the analysis that we have so if it is going to happen like this so that's mean uh it will give advantage for those who uh position trade in the dollar okay you those who want to slightly you know hold your dollar right here and let it run so this probably might be a good chance for you okay but remember that you must have your trailing stop loss right here and and see what kind of trader you are remember there's a different type of um scalper intraday uh swing trader and position trader so for those who do not know this uh, i do talk about this in in the modules right there but position trader right here is for those who like to hold the trade uh three weeks to more than three months sometimes it can go up to six months to seven months or eight months okay so they like to hold this position for slightly longer okay and for those who swing right here they like to trade uh from you know two days three days up to three weeks okay that's normally for swing for intraday trader is only trade only within one day close position all within the same day okay scalper is for those who trade very quick less than few minutes and take about 10 to 20 pips okay so for those who are position trader right here okay so this possi possibly going to give you some ideas okay and is there a chance right here for this uh, index to retest again uh this level right here at 102 uh, 103.52 yes uh, there's a possibility there's a chance right here okay but now here uh this is just my uh projection right here anything can happen right here but just in case if this uh index right here moving towards different side okay i will change my view okay i'm talking about when we're talking about if this price right here doesn't go in this way the price breached this level so i'm going to talk about if this index right here break the support right here so this support is quite strong if you guys can see this is where the ema of 200 is supporting this index right here is quite strong there's a test right here about one two three four there's a few times tested right here in this area is considered a very uh strong is considered crucial part of support of this index if this part right here breach okay where the index is managed to breach in this level right here possibly i will change my view okay so if does if that thing happen right here is say for example it's gonna happen something like this where the price is you know uh breaching below this level right here so i might be changing my view okay i may be changing my view that possible this is going to be beginning 
of the bearish movement of the dollar right here. So if that one really happened right here, where, where, we're going to talk about, okay, so this is the part right here. I will change my view if the index breach below the 200 uh, moving average, which is 97.12, okay, followed by the EMA, okay, followed by the EMA 50 and EMA 100 is crossed below. It's really crossed below the EMA 200, which, which means there's a dead crossover or bearish crossover happening. So I'll be observed the return move, okay? So what does it mean by return move right here? So when you see the moving average right here managed to cross below, both 50 and 100 cross below the 200 right here, and the price retrace, okay, retrace back to this, um, you know, this ascending support right here, ascending channel support. So this is what we call return move, okay? So when I mentioned about the word return move, we're talking about the retracement right here. So when there's a return move right here, get ready for those who are doing a new opening of your new position to short, uh, you know, the index, or uh, the short, sorry, to short the dollar right here, or whatever pairs against the dollar right here. So this will be a very nice cue for you here, okay? So my prediction right here, based on a technical analysis right here, uh, ascending channel right here, whatever the width right here, that will be your possible target right here. Now, my target right here that if, say for example, this price is bridging right here, you will see that this pattern right here is start to creating, what is this? High, high, end, eh, sorry, low, high end, What's this? Low high and lower low. So this is actually, uh, you know, possibly the start movement of a down downward. Okay, if really breach uh, this level right here. So if really breach this level right here, okay, my projection is going to be around this area right here, which is going to be 94.18. Now, why I say so here is because this area right here have a very interesting confluence of the Fibonacci retracement from uh, level of a 103 to 88.4. So if we do Fibonacci retracement right here, this area have a 38.2% level of projection right here, which is confluence also with the previous uh, support right here is, uh, you know, occur uh, and is or coincide in the same level right here. And also this target right here is also coincide with the width of this channel right here. So yes, um, this is possible only. Uh, movement of the dollar if breach below that level. So uh, we're going to see possible is going to go towards down what 94.18. Uh, okay, so yeah, so that's my prediction. But as for now, right now, the dollar still remain healthy. Uh, the dollar still remain like this. So far, I uh, am still bullish. Okay, if this really happened right here, stay tuned, uh, guys, for the next webinar and what's going to happen uh, to the dollar. Okay, now, will the dollar also move in sideways? Yes, possible, but I'm going to further monitor uh, the index movement on the next January. But right now, as for now, the long term right here for the dollar, uh, long term is outlook is bullish, okay? So that's a little bit sharing for me. Now for the short term of, uh, you know, the dollar right here, okay? Okay, sorry, I'm going to talk about the medium term first. For those who are trading somewhere between less than three weeks, you know, uh, less than three weeks, uh, three days to three weeks, you want to know what exactly happened to the dollar movement. So let me share with you the, uh, what, I, what I see right here, uh, less than three weeks. Possible movement right here is, you guys see right here that uh, there's a few times this area right here is tested, okay, around 97.15, approximate, okay? And, and you see right here the price is continue to test, Okay, continue test, continue test. So it does create a low high, but there's no low low here. So this level right here still remain the same. So that's mean there's a supporting, uh, there's a buying effect right here of the dollar continue support. And if you see around this area right here, very interesting, we have a very interesting reversal of a Japanese candlestick right here is known as bullish engulfing. Now, if you see this bullish engulfing right here, accompanied together with this very interesting indicator here, which is stochastic RSI right here. There's a crossover happening right here. So what does it tell? So likelihood that yeah, what happened to within the next three weeks to uh, less, next three days to three weeks is possible that the dollar is going to rebound. Okay, there's a possibility likelihood is going to have a technical rebound. So it's probably just going to test around this area right here. Okay, so it's, we're going to test right here, somewhere around area of 98.3. So you're going to test back right here, okay, the previous 
resistance right here. So the nearest one is going to test uh, this, uh, you know, slope right here. Okay, so this indication right here is uh, very interesting. Okay, so bullish engulfing is been used by Japanese uh, traders right here for more than 300 years. So uh, based on the study that bullish engulfing have a 61.8% successful rate to rebound. Okay, meanwhile, there's a balance of 39 plus percent, it could fail. So if, if, if this trading, if this movement right here can fail, remember as a trader, you must have your stop loss. Okay, so uh, the movement right here for medium terms right here is possible to going to have a technical rebound okay so even though the price right here of the index is a bridge below ema of a 50 and 100 right here but it's still supported right here at the okay at the 200 okay so possible to have a technical rebound but again right here the medium uh terms right here they slightly have a bearish bias right here so the area right here that I need to monitor for a trader right here, the support right here for the dollar index. Okay, right here for the, the, the index right here. So I give my comment right here. The next one breached below 50. However, for the support at 200. So I already comment right here. So likelihood is going to have a technical rebound. The level of 98.50. Okay, might retest the level of 98.50. That will be uh, the target. Okay, and the support right here, 97.15. Okay, let's talk about a short term right here for those who trade less than three days. What is the possible movement for the dollar index? Okay, now we see right here the dollar have a gap. Okay, gap is very interesting right here. When it's gap up right here, so possible that uh, this dollar right here is possible going to test 97.95. So the current support is at a gap, technical gap right here at 97.45. Okay, again right here, likelihood is going to rebound even for the short term. Okay, so this is my uh, view right here, long term, medium term, and short terms. Okay, so now let's get ready right here. Let's have a look on the Forex pair of uh, seven major space right here. We have a Euro US dollar right here, uh, pound against dollar right here, dollar yen right here, dollar uh, Swiss franc right here. We have a dollar Canadian loonie right here, dollar uh, Australian dollar versus dollar right here, and the kiwi and the dollar right here for those who still do not know about what is this uh, seven major pairs right here don't worry at the uap right here we explain all these top seven major pairs in the world okay so i'm going to open the live chart right here so uh so that you guys can see so i'm going to open a chart of uh euro usd right here okay tell me guys if you can see the chart here okay if you guys can see the chart do let me know Okay, let's have a look. Euro US dollar right here. Guys, can you see my chart right here? Okay, so I'm going to give a comment right here for the long term first. Okay, guys, can you see my chart right here? Okay, so uh, yeah, you guys can see the chart? Okay, that's great. Zida, can you see the chart? Doris, can see the chart? Yes, okay. So let's have a look right here. When we're gonna talk about the long term right here, as a trader, it's very important for you to have a look on the broad outlook. So that's mean you need to go and have a sky view first. It's very important for you to have the long term view. Okay, so normally long term view that you can take what exactly happened uh, six months to one year. Okay, for because some um, Forex market is slightly different than stock market. Stock market that you can view for five years that you can consider for you know the long term. But in the currency, you don't have that privilege because currency move very fast and very volatile. So that means you will look at the window somewhere between less than one year. Okay, now let me have a look right here for Euro US dollar right here. This is uh, the most popular pair right here and the most traded pair right here, Euro uh, US dollar right here. Now, if you see right here at the beginning of 2017, Euro is strengthening against the dollar and towards what happened right here on the March, April here, where the dollar start to strengthen, uh, which is, I, I show you guys, the dollar seems like it's strengthening right here. And let's have a look right here. Let's begin with a very simple charting right here. First of all, identify the trend, of what happened on the first early six months right here. Now, tell me guys, what do you see right here on the movement of the, you know the euro dollar okay sorry okay so i'm gonna draw another one right here okay so tell me what do you see is it uptrend sideway or downtrend what do you see right now okay what do you see 
uh, right now, the most closest one to the dollar uh, euro dollar movement right here. Okay, you see is uptrending or downtrending? Anybody can tell. Downtrending. Okay, downtrending means who is down? Who is weakening right here? Okay, those who already joined the course right here. Okay, who is actually downtrending? Okay, euro. Euro is getting downtrending. Okay, Eric Tan said that you see a hat and shoulder with descending channel yes good job right here so yes possible right here you will see actually there's a shoulder right here there's a head right here there's a shoulder right here okay and in fact does it breach the neckline right here it does okay so when it breached the neckline right here okay when it breached the neckline right here okay this there's, there's a few ways to draw the neckline here okay oh, sorry all right so let me change this for a while so very good observation right here uh brother eric okay all right so yes possible that you also see this uh, possible pattern of a uh, head and shoulder right here but it's not really strong uh you know uh you know right shoulder here left shoulder is very nice the head is right here but this is not that really a uh, complete kind of movement but yes it's true that the descending channel was uh, already start to take in place but just in case if this um we do a targeting based on the head right here okay so based on the head right here there's a possible uh you know long-term target right here for the uh weakening of the euro right here and you guys know that what exactly happened to the euro recently right okay now we are talking about what happened to euro lately is we're going to talk about brexit as everybody know that brexit is the one that you know make what happened to european union right here so it does uh, you know possible contribute also to the weakening of the euro right here so if you guys can see right here for the long term uh, of the euro right here i am bearish few reason why yes uh, like what eric say right here good job we actually have to see a pattern of a head and shoulder right here this is a bearish pattern right here also at in right here is the descending channel also another pattern of the bearish right here but let's talk more right here about the price movement okay when you talk about the price movement right here look there's a three moving averages right here so we have ema 200 we have ema 100 and ema 20. now if you look at this price right here the recent movement right here okay the price still remain below uh ema okay below ema 200 so what does it mean for long term right here it's still uh bearish right here so euro dollar right here is still bearish and possible is it possible to touch back this previous strong support right here yes it's true so it can touch back at this area right here at the 1.02 okay to up to 1.06 so now as a trader right here uh you would like to for those who trade this or position trading right here you may want to have a look right here on this support area here because this is quite strong it's tested for like one time two time three time okay so it's possible right here can test for four times okay so there's a possibility so to touch back here so if it is going to touch back here that there's a high possibility that is going to have a technical rebound okay but it's pretty much is going to happen because on the early of the year we're still going to see this announcement right here so uh, what kind of announcement is going to happen so if you click right here there's a lot of things right here is ready uh, to be announced, especially by the euro. They have a eurozone survey. There's also talking about the rate of the euro. So we're going to see what happened here. Okay, so for the long term outlook for the dollar right here, uh, sorry, for the euro dollar right here, euro we anticipate that it's going to be for the weakening. It still remain bearish right here, can test uh, at least this area. But will I change my view? yes as a trader as well we need to make sure that if there's a possibility there will be changes right here we need to know as well now now let's have a look right here uh there's a tendency right here that you know that the price is start to you know going up here up okay uptrend a little bit okay so we still uh possible there's a possibility okay hold on all right okay so we want to see if there's a trend changes right here we want to see the first two ema right here which is 50 and uh 100 right here to cross above okay if the price can cross above right here okay so if the price can cross above okay and there's a return move right here okay then possible for you know to see a trend change 
okay so we also would like to see whether this uh, reversal pattern is going to happen here as for now uh, there's no reversal yet so as for the time being I will I don't have any view changes yet but if this price is going to change again stay tuned for the next webinar maybe we will talk about the uh, next uh, you know uh, change changes of the movement okay sorry okay so I'm just going to delete this for a while okay all right so this is just a projection just in case it's, uh, you know it move into a different direction as for now euro dollar right here for long term is still bearish now let's have a look for the medium terms right here what is going to happen to the euro dollar for less than at least uh, three weeks uh, to three days okay so if we review right here for those who swing trader, the way how you look at the market is going to be slightly different. Okay, now, so you want to see what exactly happened uh, between uh, three weeks to three days. So you would just want to see in a small little uh, portion right here. So you can change this one into perhaps a hedge for uh, time frame right here. Okay, so you would like to see um, the movement between uh, three weeks to three months. If you guys can see right here that the the euro dollar here seems like a little bit consolidate right here in between okay there's a consolidation happen here okay so it's creating a high high okay but it's creating a, a higher low and a lower high so it's, it seems like a little bit right here uh, consolidating uh, in this area but right now we can see that somewhere around this movement right here okay you can see that all right yeah so the reason movement right here that showing that the the euro have a little movement right here it start to penetrate above the okay sorry it start to penetrate above the ema okay ema of a 200 and ema of a 130 so there's a crossover right here so the, in the you know in less than three weeks right here there's a possibility just to have a little bit rebound right here for the euro dollar so we're going to have a look on this so for those who have a little bit swing right here those who want to have a swing trade right here yes so this is a little bit is going to support the outlook of your trade right here okay so uh the prices start to go beyond right here there's a retracement right here and rebound here so you guys can see in this area right here the price go up retrace right here supported well and it's moving average right here and start to rebound so possibility right here it can test back this previous resistance if this price able to uh, break right here possible it can go back right here to retest back the previous resistance right here which is going to happen around 1.1688 okay but the general look right here uh, there's a uh, possible a chance right here to consolidate if the price still you know doesn't manage to penetrate above this area it can consolidate further right here so that's mean euro dollar is going to be you know slightly volatile and sideways okay so we're going to have a look on this movement right here for you know medium terms and uh, let's have a look right here for the short term of a uh, euro dollar right here so i'm going to go for the famous pair right here first okay if we get a chance right here we will recap also for the um minor pairs right here okay so let's have a look here okay um we have this is this doo -doo -doo -doo. okay yeah so pretty much this is the number here okay let me put this one aside for a while okay so this is dollar movement okay let me have a look okay now i'm going to talk about the next movement right here for for the dollar short terms right here Let's have a look on the quick, quick, quick short term move right here on the dollar. Okay, let's change here a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look right here on the dollar movement here. Okay, so what happened right here in the daily movement right here, in the short period of time right here? In this area right here, we start to see that the dollar right here, I'm oh, sorry. The dollar right here, uh, euro dollar right here, start to go back here. But if you guys see right here, there's a few area right here. There's a area resist resistant right here. Okay, so this area considered quite some right here resistant in this area here. There's a few areas tested here. Okay, so um, here it still manage doesn't manage to go above. Okay, so possibly in the short term right here if the price still did not manage to go in this nearest uh, 
support and resistance right here, there's a possibility that euro dollar is going to further weakening as well. So we want to see whether this in the short term right here can further penetrate this level right here. So for those who are watching the, you know, the euro dollar for this week right here, watch out this level here at what level is here? Okay, around this uh, 1.10776, if the price can further uh, break and close above right here, there's a chance for the dollar to have the upward movement. And if this still doesn't close, uh, you know, above right here, I'm going to say that uh, they're going to play somewhere around this game right here and possible going to continue for the weakening. So that is the possible outlook for short term dollar what happens is going to be you know less than three days right here okay so that's my uh, view quick view right here for the euro dollar so let's have a look on the other pair right here which is we're going to have uh, gbps dollar okay pound dollar right here okay so i'm going to go for uh, seven uh, famous pair right here okay and uh, right after that uh, we still come back to our topics right here okay let's have a look at we what we're going to recap for today Okay, so we're going to talk about the outlook, okay, the outlook, major minus, okay, and also, yes, okay, I'm going to share with you all a little bit, if we get time right here, I'm going to share with you how we're going to have a simple strategy right here with a new indicator for those who joining the upcoming uh, upcoming coaching right here, I'll explain you all more on this, we're going to talk about a swing trade strategy. And the top 10 mistake by new Forex trader. Now, for those who are trading in Forex right here, we're going to discuss furthermore uh, about this mistake. Don't worry, guys. This mistake also, I made it before. So uh, we're going to discuss openly right here and have fun discuss about this part. Okay, so I'm going to cover at least all the major pair right here. So let's have a look on the GBP US dollar right here. Let's have a look on the long term, the pound versus the dollar right here, which is pretty much very interesting that the way how the dollar and the pound react is totally different. Okay, so I have a pretty much different view a little bit for the pound right here. Now, when we talk about the pound right here, uh, yes, of course, we're going to talk about the most closest is actually Brexit. Okay, we got to talk about the new presidents of uh, you know Boris Johnson right here and about the Brexit. But it seems right here that uh, the okay when we talk about the long term right here. So let's talk about the long term movement right here first. In terms of the long term movement right here, um, beginning of uh, 2017 is this uptrend right here. But right after that April, it start to downtrend for the uh, pound right here. Now if we go do a trend line right here. Okay, we do a quick trend line right here. Okay, now this is a simple way how to do a trend line. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, all right, so this is, uh -huh. okay, still coming back there. So I'm going to just double click this. Okay, so this is the trend line of the uh, pound right here, pound against the dollar right here. So you guys can see right here, in this area right here, there's a testing right here, it's, you know, bridge. Not only just bridge right here, but if you see right here, there's a pattern right here, you guys can see. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting pattern right here. Can anybody tell me, those who just already learned right here, I am pretty much very sure Eric Tan can tell this. What kind of pattern is this that you guys can see? Okay, there's a, there's a very interesting pattern right here that uh, the pound dollar price right here managed to break. Okay, this is another bullish pattern right here, guys. So what kind of pattern is this right here that the, you know, the pound dollar managed to break right here? Anybody can tell me this kind of patterns? Okay, so yeah, if there are those who can try to tell me, they just go ahead and type in the chat box. Okay, now, first of all, uh, what I see right here, the pound dollar right here, Tested few times right here, the support level right here at 1.217. So you guys can see here, when it touched back the support right here, it rebounded. Okay, and rebounded, not only that, the price not only rebounded, but the price managed to breach or penetrate, oh, sorry, managed to penetrate above the EMA of 200. So that means there's a chances right here uh, that the British pound right here is, uh, you know, British, uh, the pound dollar right here is ready to change the movement into the bullish kind of movement right here. So there's a bullish bias right here is going to happen here. Okay, so look here. Uh, even the, the trend right here start to show is going up high. Okay, you guys can see that. Okay, all right, so the trend is start to go creating a high high and a higher low right here. Symmetrical triangle, okay, symmetrical triangle, okay, yeah, 
Yes, you can say that. Yes, symmetrical triangle. Yes, you are right, symmetrical triangle. Okay, so symmetrical triangle is actually happen more than three weeks. You are correct. Okay, so what happened to symmetrical triangle is another bullish pattern right here. And if you guys can see right here, the price is actually uh, move above the EMA 200. And now you move above 200 right here. Look at the EMA of uh, uh, 50 crossover. Not only just crossover right here of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, 50 cross over the 100, but the 50 right here also successfully cross above the 200. And the most interesting part right here where you see that this 100 and 200 right here start to, you know, you know, start to meet with each other up right here. So again, right here, I can say that in this possibly that the British pound right here is going to be slightly strengthening again the dollar for this uh, outlook right here. Okay, I'm going to talk about the medium terms for the out outlook for the uh, long term right here is still bearish right here with the bullish bias right here. So we want to see the movement right here. If if still can further support right here, break out this area and supported well and continue to go up high. That's in the British pound right here is ready to change a trend. And also we like to see what happened to the U.S. presidential. Okay, so. Um, Fami says a pannon. Okay, so normally pannon is almost correct, but uh, normally pannon, okay, it's happened less than three weeks. Okay, uh, short term period. Okay, so if if more than the three three weeks, okay, so that means we cannot call it flag or pannon anymore. Yeah, Fami Faiz. So normally, if more than that, we will call it uh, you know triangle, symmetrical triangle, you know ascending triangle, and many more type of triangles. So okay, you almost there. You almost there. So pannon normally happen very short period of time, less than two weeks. So uh, I think Eric Tan is right here. I uh, get it almost right. So it's symmetrical triangle right here. Okay, so. So we will see right here, there's a chance right here for the dollar, uh, pound dollar right here to continue to go up high. Okay, and let's see right here for the movement. Okay, we do Fibonacci retracement right here. So there's a chance right here to further test this area right here. Okay, further chance to test 1.34399 uh, right here. Okay, so this is the area of Fibonacci of 61.8. Now, this is the part right here. If this uh, index right here managed to penetrate above this area and go forward right here, that means the pound is ready to go up high. Okay, that if this area right here still did not manage to get, you know, bridge right here and it's further down right here, that means the pound dollar right here, especially the British pound, can for the weakening. So this is a very important area right here that we want to have a look. One point three. 439 area right here for the pound okay now let's have a look on the short term right here for those who are doing a little bit like swing or intraday, intraday trade let's have a look on what we can see in this uh, slightly shortest period of time right here okay so uh yes now it start to move already right here okay those who already start to long the pound right here, congratulations, it start to move already very quick right here. And those who want to probably jump in the wagon, don't simply just jump. Wait a little bit right here for it to retrace and at least it retests back the EMA of 100. Yes, you can have a look, uh, you know, buying opportunity in that area. And for those who want to add in more, yes, you can have a look on that area as well. Okay. And let's have a look right here for one hour movement of the pound dollar right here. Similar pattern right here. And we can see that the pound right here having a slightly different move compared to the euro. Okay, so the pound is, uh, you know, slightly uh, move stronger right here. Okay, so it's already moved right here. So how many of you managed to grab this uh, pound dollar right here, GBP US dollar right here? So congratulations, it start to go up there for quite some times already, and uh, I think it start to already move for how many pips right here? Let's do a quick measurement here. Uh, okay, so yes, so price range right here. So when it's breaking up right here, uh, somewhere about 200 plus pip. Wonderful trade right here. Okay, if you put one lot right there, you already make $2,000 profit. It's beautiful, okay? Now, what make trader frustrated about uh, the dollar for this uh, few weeks? I know some of you really frustrated a little bit uh, with the dollar because it's really moved sideways. 
Am I right, guys? It's really, you know, those who really wish it's going to be trending, but it end up in, you know, in sideways. Now, a lot of traders right here, especially for the trend follower, you definitely going to be uh, frustrated when the market is uh, volatile and move into sideways market because sometimes whatever the trending that you make, you tends to donate back your profit right here in the sideways market. So this is what happened to the GBP. It happened, you know, trending, you know, in the sideways market, in the ranging market, because the based on the fundamental right here, uh, Boris Johnson still do not know whether, you know, they want to table for Brexit, you know, still uh, uh, doesn't go and get approval from the vote voting. So this is what happened. But what happened recently right here is interesting for the pound. It started to breaking out and we start to see the upward movement. So we already start to see in the shot, even the shot period terms of time uh, short terms as well the dollar start to have a bullish outlook okay so that is for gbp us dollar okay now let's have a look on australian us dollar okay australian us dollar okay so they call this one aussie aussie and dollar okay now very interesting case right here let's have a look for the long term okay so for the long term right here guys uh, what we see right here for the dollar is mm, Australian dollar against the dollar. So Aussie against the dollar. Okay. Long term right here we see is downtrend. Okay. Is downtrending. Okay. For the dollar. Okay. And even you can see right here, it moved in this manner right here. Okay. And do we see any near support right here for the dollar? It does have here, but it's still doesn't have any trend change right here so again right here yes of course you you see there's a possible of um, we testing back again the support rate right here but we would like to see the dollar for long term right here to have a trend changes right here but as for now right here the outlook for the australian dollar right here still for the long term still remain bearish now let's have a look on what happened less than um three weeks uh for the dollar right here Okay, for those who are doing swing trade, the way how you look, the, the time frame is a little different right here. You will look at a secondary trend right here. Uh, there's a little bit movement. You guys can see here a little bit, okay, where the dollar, Australian dollar, and uh, Australian versus the US dollar right here, where the Australian slightly strengthening here uh, in between, you know, in, in medium terms, okay? But not that really obvious right here. So there's a possibility of the price to move in this manner right here okay okay if this is going to happen right here possibility that even in the long term right here we will see maybe there's a there's a chance for the dollar to continue uh australian dollar to continue strengthening but what i see right here is possible just to touch somewhere between uh you know the ema of uh, 200 right here okay just touch a little bit here and yeah Maybe it's going to test furthermore downside. Okay, so uh, this is my prediction right here for the medium term. But is there any room right here for the upper side for the swing? Yes, it's true. There's an upward movement right here. So have a look on this area right here of uh, EMA over 200 right here. It's possible to touch back again in this area, or probably is penetrate slightly above right here. Okay, so you can you know just have a nice long right here, and when it turn right here, you can have a shorting for the dollar. Okay, make sure you have your stop loss as well. Okay, now let's have a look on the short term period of uh, dollar right here. Uh huh. We start to see that the dollar right here, okay, possible. Okay, so it went to this uh, consolidation period right here, and now you see that the dollar right here uh, penetrate below the EMA of a 200 of you know one hour chart right here. But that doesn't mean anything right here. It's just only testing a little bit here in this area. Okay, like what you see right here is possible just to, to you know to test okay so what we want to see right here is possible that the price just going to go below here first for a while and gonna go up right here okay so the dollar movement possible is going to retest back this support right here okay so what is the support level right here at 0 0.67640 okay so yes in the short period of time right here dollar right here uh, australian versus us dollar right here there's just a chance right here just to have uh, retracement right here let's have a look whether it's going to have a quick rebound right here now again right here for those who are trading uh, australian dollar right here you would like to have a look on the technical rebound right here it give you a little bit room right here to have a smaller risk and higher reward right here 
okay so possible possible okay the movement right here for the short term period right here somewhere something like this you test back again and touch back again the above okay so if this uh, is going to have that kind of movement yes it does give you an opportunity right here to have uh you know sh smaller kind of risk right here and slightly high reward right here okay so you want to have a look on this kind of trade okay so if just touch back the support right here you can go okay now um the reward right here for ratio right here is about one to four so not too bad okay so it's a, the upper side here about 80 plus pip lower side right here is about 20 pips so yeah can have a look on that okay so anything can happen around this area right here i would like to see the movement uh you know later on on this one on the dollar and uh, for those who join the group right here there will be analysis on you know the dollar movement as well whatever it is is going to happen in the uh special telegram group okay right so that's australian us dollar let's have a look right here on the us dollar cat okay us dollar and canadian dollar right here let's have a look on the long term those who trading this um dollar against the canadian dollar right here so let's have a look on the long term right here okay now if you guys see right here the dollar and canadian dollar uh dollar versus the loony right here uh this is the part right here they enter to the uh most challenging area right here which is the sideway uh, many traders i tell you guys that uh really not really preferring the sideway because it could be very very boring kind of trade but uh for those who know how to trade right here they will do a ping pong kind of trade okay they use the uh, oscillators right here to uh, have a nice trade right here now have a look right here on the uh long term right here it still have a uh bullish bias right here if we do a trend line right here for the dollar against the loony right here it's still in uptrending okay it's only retest a little bit here okay it's still move movement uh you know towards the ascending channel right here it's still at uptrend right here but the only thing is right now is start to go into the ranging phase right here so in terms uh, of a long terms right here it start to go into the phase of sideways for the dollar right here okay so for those who want to trade here right here you can trade with the you know overbought oversold situation okay now let's have a look on uh the period of slightly lesser than okay let me just delete this one for a while okay let's have a look on the four hours so slightly medium term move kind of movement here okay so just delete this one for a while okay all right so let's choose this box right here even though it's sideways okay now uh it's still right here is the price is still uh you know let's have have a look on what happened less than three weeks right here still up trending right here price moving above is a little bit slightly volatile but the price start to you know test back again right here so there's possibility the price will trade something like this okay for the us dollar canadian dollar right here okay so this is area right here it start to rebound right here okay so look at all this moving average right here still above of the 200 right here so that's mean uh bullish bias for the medium terms is also there for the us dollar canadian okay for the short terms uh and the medium terms is almost similar right here now let's have a look on the dollar against the swiss franc okay now this is what makes frustrated for those who are trading the dollar again the franc right here very very choppy kind of trade right here i know i know some of you say that uh, this is going to be uh you know some of you trending kind of market right here you start to see that you know it cut here a little bit there cut a little bit there you know so this is how you know that the trading is start to you know getting more choppy right here you see the the ratio it cut half cut half right here of all the moving average right here it show that your trading right here is ready to go for the ranging market okay especially when it go through here and it tests again this level right here look at it, this distance right here is really uh, in between right here if you see like one two step right here possibility the the trend is going to go for sideways this is the part right here you can use the uh overboard oversold kind of oscillator to trade like stochastic rsi macd it can run right here but rsi and stochastic right here will be definitely interesting for this kind of trade so you can trade ping pong like this okay before it start to trending 
okay so right now for the uh, dollar against the franc right here is ready to go for the sideway there is still no clear direction yet for the long-term movement of the dollar right here so we would like to see if it's going to penetrate either the support area or the resistant area to give us the clear movement okay so as for now right here if the dollar is continue strengthening we still have a bearish uh, bias right here for the uh, Swiss franc right here okay okay now next one right here New Zealand US dollar right here okay so the, I cover pretty much on you know all the pairs of the major pairs already so based on the time right here I think I managed to cover uh, mostly of these um, what I call the major pairs okay now what happened right here New Zealand US dollar right here is a little bit different game right here if we change this one into one day okay one day right here okay so change again USD cap one day yes yes it's sideways yes it's correct yeah USD cat is sideways New Zealand US dollar right here okay the Kiwi against the dollar right here okay let's have a look right here on the bigger movement okay we see that yes okay still have a bearish bias right here okay all the movement right here still below all the moving averages right here there's a slightly rebound right here even though right now we see that the price already uh, penetrate above the EMA 200 right here but there's a possibility to retest back you know the resistant area right here okay so we still have a strong uh, bearish bias right here towards the Kiwi okay so those who like to actually short to have a nice shot right here this area is a very nice area for you to have a look okay make sure you have a nice stop loss right here so nice for you to have a position trade right here uh, for the Kiwi against the dollar right here until I see this moving average already cross above right here and start to have a high high and a higher low right here and break above this level right here I will change my view on the Kiwi against the dollar okay so pretty much that one okay now I want to open up the question right here do you want me to uh, monitor to analyze any pair that you want me to analyze so just go ahead and uh, you know type on the chat box right there what kind of pair maybe you want me to analyze the uh, we call this one the minor pair okay we have a few minor pairs right here so just go ahead and type on the chat box I'm going to take about one two questions right here from the traders right here you can go ahead and ask me a question if you would like me to analyze any of the minor pairs right here okay so we have a euro GBP euro chef euro cat we have a this 21 minor pairs cross currency pairs okay so if you have a questions right here that you would like to Ask me, go ahead and type a chat box right here. Do you have any kind of uh, currency pairs uh, or minor pairs right here that you're trading right now? Okay, so I will share with you the, the long terms, you know, and the medium terms and the short terms. Okay, so Eric Tan is uh, trading GBP CAT. Okay, so let's have a look on that one. Okay, GBP CAT. All right. So for GBP CAT, let me have a look. Okay, so. Let me ask you, brother Eric, are you a position trader? Are you a swing trader or are you a short term trader? Okay, so if you are position kind of trader right here, beautiful. Uh, right now, possible GBP against the Looney right here is going to have a trend change. Okay, look at that. Beautiful right here. It's a beautiful potential of a double bottom right here. It's already tested a few times right here, tested the support area beautiful right here okay and look here one thing I, I I I see right here for the outlook here is quite interesting for uh, GBP cat okay if you look right here guys the moving average of 50 right here is already cross above look at that it's cross above the hundred and it is also cross over right here uh, the 200 right here and look how beautiful it is it's the price span trade above a 200 right here retraced now the 200 moving average right here pretty much very interesting a uh, navigator right here to give you the direction right here look at the slope of this uh, moving average right here start to pointing up right here the degree is going to pointing up right here but the only thing is right here is that the degree of movement right here of GBP cat right here is almost 90 degree so I'm not sure uh, swing right your swing so uh, can you tell me um, 
Eric right here, where's actually your entry points exactly in which number? Are you answering somewhere around 1.688 or 1.700 if you can share with me so that we can know a little bit about your, you know, the place that you basically enter here. Are you enter slightly early or are you enter slightly late? And we can try to discuss right here what is the possible way uh, that we can trade this, okay? Now, I, I, the way how I look right here at a GBP cat right here is there's a possibility that it can retest back in this area right here. Ah, very interesting case right here for um, pound against the loonie right here, pounds against the Canadian dollar right here. Okay, Eric, if you can check your, you know, your MT4, what is the number that you basically enter so that I can share with you a little bit? No entry yet. Oh, okay, no entry yet. Okay, that's very interesting. So if there's no entry yet, okay, what you're going to do is um, you're going to wait a little bit. Now, is the movement right here is already, you know, a lot of room. There. It's already start to move way above and way far already from the moving average so if there's a chance right here for it to retrace okay i'm going to talk about the retracement area right here so have a look on if the moving average of 200 right here and 100 right here if the price can go in that area right there okay and you also see the either the stochastics or you know uh, the RSI right here at the oversold region right there, you can have a nice uh, pullback kind of a, you know entry. And also maybe you would like to add a little bit right here with the Fibonacci retracement. Okay, just in case to give you more assurance right here, you would like to see you know you know the movement, the the wave move kind of movement right here. So you can take this a uh, low uh, swing right here. And you can see, uh, you can start to see if there's a, you know, a Japanese can. Now we start to see there's a shooting star, a potential shooting star right here, but it doesn't close below this candle right here. Eric, if you can see that. Okay, this is a daily uh, chart of movement. There's a shooting star actually happened here. But however, that is still not confirmed because it doesn't go below in this area right here. So that means this is still belong to the upper movement. Uh, this still be bullish side right here strong movement towards upward and we want to see again if this price can further show there's a curve going down right here there's a reversal going down we're going to remeasure again this Fibonacci retracement three area that you're going to have a look 38.250 and 61.8 my favorite will be definitely 61.8 now uh, Eric said that waiting for 12 12 election <laughs> yes so yeah so this is what actually we are we're going to have a look on the election as well yeah so that is going to to be good for you as well so yeah we're going to have a look on that one so if there's a pullback right here also that will give you actually good room uh, for your money management so uh, wait for the pullback okay for me I will definitely wait for the pullback here and if there's a nice pullback right there you would like to enter uh, buy on deep and let it run okay so hopefully that one will help you out okay so that's for Eric Tan anyone else right here so just give me one more pairs right here okay anybody all right okay so eric already done with gbp cat anybody else that you have your trading pairs right now okay so if you uh, eric is a swing trade yeah so this is, would be very nice you have to wait a little bit right here uh for the rebound okay for the retracement okay so i see there's a possibility it can touch back again this area right here 177058 around this area Okay, now who else right here is trading, uh, you know, any minor pairs right here? Just go ahead there and type on the chat box. Okay, so who else right here? Just go ahead there and type in the chat box so we can discuss right here. Okay, so only Eric's, Eric is uh, trading, right? The rest is still very newbie, isn't it? <laughs> Bruce, do you have uh, any, any kind of pairs that you trade? Okay. If they still don't have, all right, so yeah, okay, let me have a look here. There's no question right here. Yeah, if you have, just go ahead and uh, type on the chat box right there so I can have a look at what kind of pairs that you trade. So I, I wish to comment more about the minor currency, but I, I welcoming all the questions right here that you have. Okay, so anyone? Fami, Fami probably have. Joseph, or oh, Joseph is trading the, the, you know, the goal. <laughs> okay, I can go through the goal for a while, no problem uh let's have a look at the goal gold spot right here mm -hmm. okay so uh 
A lot of people try to predict, okay, this is the thing right here. Uh, a lot of people try to predict that the stock market is going to crash uh, next year. Uh, a lot of people try to predict that. So one way actually to also to see whether the, you know, uh, the stock market is going to crash is actually they're going to look at the gold spots right here, the gold movement. So gold is very important for those who like to hedge. They like to shift their money from the stock market and they shift it to the gold just for the purpose of, you know, hedging. So now let's have a look right here. Gold is, uh, you know, I predicted gold uh, uh, around August. And my prediction is actually the price is going to go up high. And I'm correct on this part right here that really the goal is actually moving upward. Okay, now let's have a look right here on the overall long-term period right here. From 2016, we do a very basic uh, trend line right here. Now we see that the goals suddenly start to shift the game. Okay, uh, start to, you know, going up high. Okay, now you see right here for the accelerating uh, trend line right here. It start to move upward right here okay now if we take a uh, Fibonacci area right here okay back in 2012 okay okay so I'm gonna drag it from here to here okay approximate okay so it's going to do a next test right here around this area right here so for the long-term outlook for the goal are uh, still bullish okay the goal still long term is still bullish price is still all moving above 200 moving average above hundreds now still hovering around right here only possible there's a retracement right here that's we we're gonna have a look right here there's a quick retra uh, there's a simple retracement right here happening okay if you guys see right here it it, it does touch at 38.2 uh, possible right here is also going to touch at a 50 percent but you're gonna be extra careful right here Joseph we're gonna have a look on a goal right here from this movement right here to this area right here which is 1382 okay so we want to see if the price go beyond or bridge below 1382 that's mean that the goal possible can have a further weakening and automatically that we can say that the stock market is you know going to fly high possible for the next election we want to see what Donald Trump has to play with with it kind of game okay but from this doll uh you know gold movement right here we start to see that uh there's a retracement right here so the trader those who are doing uh you know swing trade right here for just a simple quick shot right here yes you can do so but against right here uh, we don't want you actually to trade against the trend. Okay, the trend is actually still have the, you know, upward movement. So you want to have a look on the possibility of retracement. Okay, so if there's a retracement around 50% or 61.8 around this area right here, this is the area that we want to have a look. So it give you another opportunity to actually buy on dip, and you can put a target right here here at the top. Okay, so very interesting case for a goal right here. So for the time being. I can say for uh, uh, medium term strike here, there's a retracement right here. That is why you guys see a short term, uh, you know, bearish right here. But for the long term outlook for the gold right now, it's still bullish, guys. It's still bullish. So uh, you don't want to trade against the trend. But if you are an aggressive trader right here, you still want it to, you know, to trade against the trend. Okay, uh, right. So let me have a look. Okay, yeah. So make sure that you have, uh, you make sure that the price right here retrace a little bit right here to at least EMA 50. Okay, at least. Then, then see how far it can go. It give you a little bit movement right here. So it still have a this price right here still can further move right here to EMA 200. Okay. Uh, why I say so is because look at here, the movement right here is already way too strong. So it need time, you know, to retrace for take a rest for a while. Okay, so this area right here at 1382 and 1415, this zone right here, you guys want to have a look right here. Hopefully, there's a rebound right there. If there's a rebound right there, you can have a look to buy on dip right there or adding more position. And you can put your, you know, your target right there. Okay, so I'm just going to do a uh, prediction right here. It's probably is going to move something like this. Okay, and then it's probably going to be something like that. Okay, so this is possible kind of movement of the, you know, the goal possible is going to touch in this area, but uh, we are going to monitor further on the goal. 
Okay, now what you guys see is actually just a, a simple retracement right here. Look, it does create a lower high and lower low. It start to have this kind of um, what I call this un, the descending kind of channel right here. Bearish pattern already start to have a move again right here. If that's move right there and if break out right there, okay, this is the area also that you want to have a look. Okay, for the conservative trader. Now look, it's a similar pattern right here, right? You guys can see here. Okay, it does retrace for a while, but boom, when they break out right here, there you go. I hope some of you guys, well, you know, you managed to really make a good money right here, uh, trading the gold when it really rally up right here. It's so beautiful. Okay, the only thing what make a uh, lot of traders frustrated right here is actually is now start to have a correction right here. Uh, this pattern right here, we see this. Um, uh, descending channel right here so you want to pay attention there's still room it for it to go down further right here so it's pretty much depends on your trading strategy right here so joseph and, and eric tan right here you trading the gold right here yeah you want to have a look if you're aggressive trader right here yes you can take a short trade but make sure you have a nice pullback right here a little bit so you want to look at a smaller time frame to do that kind of trade okay so you can have a look on the one hour kind of movement okay for those who really want to have a very 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 sharp entry uh, right there okay so you want to see that at least the price do test a little bit of the upper side okay and you would like to see the stochastic or the rsi show really overbought situation okay then you can trade uh, according to the trend Okay, so uh, yes, it's true for those who trade in, you know, medium terms right here, you actually see there's a bearish kind of movement right here towards the medium terms. Okay, so I hope that one will help you out. Uh, Brother Bruce right here, GBP, JPY. Okay, let me have a look right here. I believe that you are swing trade. Definitely you are trading four hours kind of candle right here. Okay, similar move right here. Uh, generally, the pound is stronger against uh, many of the pairs right here okay after it you know it moves sideways for such a period period long period of time right here this consolidation right here you know is a very very long kind of a period you know like a spring right here you press you compress the spring consolidate ranging you know so once it break right here you see there's a power to push it up right here so uh for the medium terms for the pound against the yen right here uh, we are still remain bullish right here brother uh, bruce so if you swing right here uh if you already if you're not entering yet i would like to recommend that you wait a little bit for here for pullback i like it to you know when you pull back a little bit to the zone of a 200 and 100 right here that's the area that you want to have a look so when it reverse a little bit there you can buy on dip now if you already enter somewhere here okay just continue hold your position Make sure that your cut loss is nicely happen uh, somewhere below low here. Give a bit room because uh, the pound against the yen, the, this kind of moment is is not tolerating with a small stop loss right here. So you need to have a bigger kind of stop loss of 80 pips, you know, uh, 100 pips. Okay, so you reduce your lot size right here. I believe that you already have the Excel file. Okay, remember that uh, those trader. Uh, under our program right here, you are given an Excel file right here to control your value risk. Okay, if you have um, like one thousand dollar of your capital, okay, remember you have to calculate what is your percentage risk quota that you can handle. Okay, if like say for example you can handle five percent, that means you cannot risk fifty dollar from overall trade. If you do a single trade, you can use this kind of Excel file. If you do multiple trade that you have a euro dollar, you have a GBP, you need to exchange. Uh, you need to change this number right here. So you need to control your lot size. Okay. Make sure that after you calculate all the technical stop loss, the total risk right here cannot go more than your value at risk. So this is actually how I see how one trader can last long in the trade because they have a very smart basic risk management right here for your trade. So as a trader right here, you need to control. This is something that you know is in your hand. You can control the risk trading right here. The kind of movement that move is market will tell, but you are the one can control what is your lot size right here. Of course, if you trade bigger, you make more money. But if you trade, you know, if it go to opposite side right here it also can eat a lot of your capital right here so remember guys trading forex is actually is not a quick sprint 
okay is a marathon is a game of those who can stay longer in the game so of course if you have a small capital right here trade small or trade less than one or two pairs the more small position right here the more control of your risk quarter or your value at risk the more longer that you can stay in this game right here okay so uh those who are tracking the ultimate forex program right here this one is given to you for free and we have a specific video right here to guide and teach you all how to trade this properly right here with this uh you know with this um excel file okay so basically yes we already cover all uh you know the major pairs and not all the minor pairs because uh uh we need to make sure that our program right here is just enough right here for one hour and 30 minutes okay so uh thank you very much guys for all of you right here to keep on responding to me uh with me right here in this program right here all right now we're gonna talk about uh swing trade strategy right here okay now we already uh, run our show right here for one hour and 36 minutes and once again i would like to say congratulate to all of you right here stay tuned right here with me until right now so i'm gonna share with you a little bit right here the swing trade strategy right here how to swing trade with ufp uh strategy uh where you can have a potential i'm not saying that this is going to win 100 but you have potential of uh 150 pips so i'm going to put here another one more number here is actually range between 50 pips okay 50 pips to okay 50 pips to 150 pips okay so that is a potential profit okay and the way how you manage the risk is less than 40 pips okay now in kind of in in trading right here many traders is actually they try to determine the most bottom the most top everybody actually try to predict that so sometimes you get it right sometimes you don't get it right so oftentimes you have to cut and you have to re-entry again re-entry again but sometimes if it's really trending so you basically trade already against the you know the trend so you want to have a strategy that you know not too early to enter but not too late also to enter you need to have something that just nice in between not too early and not too late okay this is a very very uh you know very tough situation right here that you know what kind of uh, you know strategy is not too early but not too late you know but just nice uh again right here i just uh, want to share to everyone those who are watching this show right here one fact right here that i would like to share with all of you is there is no holy grail in the market okay there is no 100 percent best strategy in the world no there's nothing but the only things right here that you need to have is the strategy that can give you the edge the strategy that can give you an idea where you can have a minimal risk and high reward so right here i want to share with you we have a very simple system right here that we created okay so this is uh uh we call it the hidden swing kind of system right here and those who join my life coaching right here i'll be explaining to you more about these new indicators right here that will be post very soon so we're going to give you a surprise for this actually we do have a several uh indicators right here that we give for those who join uh the ultimate forex program right here so now i want to share with you here that you guys can see here there's a color here can you guys see my screen right here if yes just type on the screen right here you guys can see here that i put here the ufp divergence right here there's a color of red and you can see there's a blue color and there's a green tell me if you can you guys can see this color first okay if you guys can see the color red blue and green tell me at least this simple color if you guys can see just go ahead and type yes on the chat box okay just type on the chat box if you guys can see so i just want to share with you about this kind of system right here and i want to share with you there's a pro there's a cons uh using this kind of uh, indicator okay doris fong say yes bruce say yep who else right here can see okay who else can see right here hazim say yes okay so let me share with all of you right here okay now one of the things right here if you guys agree uh one of the things that make traders actually uh you know feel frustrated is actually when you don't you don't draw the trend line correctly okay many traders is actually one thing is actually whether you're doing the trend line correctly that's what make new trader frustrated number two is you know the time 
the time to draw the trend line. That's number one. Uh, that's number two. Number three is actually to determine uh, you know the overbought oversold area right here. So uh, the team and I right here we always discuss about how to have an indicator is like you know not too not too early, not too late, but it's just nice. But if if the trade went wrong, it's very minimal risk. And if the trade went to the correct position, the correct direction that we want, it gives you slightly high reward. So it's a very tough for us to actually taking something in between. Okay, but again, right here, I'm saying that this uh, this indicator is not a perfect indicator, but it's just not too early, not too late, but just nice. Okay, so let me share with you how to use this indicator. Uh, it doesn't require you to draw nothing trend line. All you need to do is just study the color. Okay, so let me give you one idea here. Okay, so this is a chart of. Uh, let me see here okay so underneath here i can select any chart assume that the famous one euro us dollar okay so i can pick right here for my mt4 chart right here so um assume that we would like to trade a uh, euro do uh, euro us dollar so this is the chart of uh, h4 you guys can see and this is the value of the pips this is of the you know the pips right here so very simple right here if you guys see the color okay from green color turn into blue color okay so from green turn into blue this is the action for you to start to short the market okay the blue means from green to blue you can start to short the the market already and this red color means that you can hold as long as you can it still remain bearish until the red color change into blue you can exit the trade and you can start to long back the market okay now for those who like to swing you can swing based on the color if the color continue remain red means that continue haul into your short position until you see the red blue appear okay so when the blue color appear right here you can stand by to long the market and if continue green color right here continue haul to your swing now there's a good there's a bad thing about this okay now the pro about this indicator is actually when the color really turn into red and never change into any color really red 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 color it does tell you that the strength of that uh, you know that the trade right there is very very solid so it give you more room right there to actually hold longer but the problem with this kind of indicator is actually when this trading right here have a uh, you know short term rebound so you may be only break even sometimes so you need to set in order to control this you need to have profit in stages okay so let's begin right here with this simple idea okay let's have a quick trade right here so this is the blue color right here okay it's happened somewhere here okay so when the trade right here when the green color turns into blue this is the candle that you need to trade right here you start to short the next candle okay when the blue color appear that's mean you stand by now why i say h4 is just nice for everyone because h4 is everybody do have a time now if you're walking from 9 a.m until 5 p.m this market right here you can observe four hours that's mean every 4 p.m every 8 p.m every 12 midnight so i'm sure that you have your time around four o'clock right guys 4 p.m you can monitor this a little bit less than five minutes to see the color changes and you can observe again what happened on the next uh, 8 p.m. nighttime Malaysian time, and you can observe around 12 nighttime. So it doesn't require you that you you know to jump and rush to trade. It it give you ample of time, you know, to swing. So uh, this is the area of uh, you know it, the color change and and look from this this level right here. So I'm just going to draw the action candle is somewhere around here. Okay, that's mean up after it close, you can take immediate action. And look here, it's swing to the lowest right here up to 80 pips. Now, let me ask you guys a question right here. From this area right here, go down until below here, it gives you 80 pips for Euro US dollar. Tell me, is this considered a good trade for you? Yes or super yes? Just go ahead there, type on the chat box. Okay, tell me. If you manage to get 80 pips right here, assume that if you click one lot, standard lot right here, you click and give you 80 pips. 
That's mean it give you somewhere around uh, $800, right? Yes, about $800. Okay, so is that a good trade? Okay, tell me is that is a good trade? And is it very easy to, you know, to read? Okay, now for those who joining this upcoming program right here, this indicator I'm going to give to you. Okay, it's very, very interesting. Now, if this trade doesn't work, okay, if say for example this action candle doesn't work, you are going to prepare about 40 pips as here for your stop loss. Okay, so you can prepare a range of about 40 pips for your stop loss. So, you know, uh, stop loss and profit right here. So about one to two ratios. Now, even if you want, if you like to take one to one, okay, so stop loss right there, even you take 50 pips right here, you're still in the profit area. Okay, so again, right here, uh, you like those who like to hold the position until the color change. Okay, you can do that as well. Okay, see this part right here, the color is changed somewhere around here. Okay, so this will be your action candle right here. Okay, action candle right here. So from this action candle right here, assume that you like to swing, really, really swing from this level to this level right here. You got 32 pips, still not too bad. Okay, but having a really smart target profit right here, that will do. But those who really want to swing, really follow the market right here, it's no problem. Then you can get about 30 pips right here. So now, from this level right here, the color change, okay? It start to go, uh, you know, green right here. You guys can see? From red color turn into blue. Blue color, this is the action part right here that you need to take. Once the blue done, complete right here, closing, you can take the trade already. Now, let's have a look right here what happened to Euro US dollar. So from this point right here, it went up until this level right here. Whoa, there you go. Another 90 pips. Tell me, guys, is this indicator, uh, is it simple to read? <laughs> Let me ask you, how, how many of you want this indicator? Just type there, yes, I want this indicator. Just go ahead there, type in the chat box. Uh, really, it does not require you to, to draw a lot, but the way how you enter is not too early but not too late as well but it's just nice in between you know so how many of you would like to have this indicator just type there yes i want this indicator especially doris <laughs> yes doris definitely gonna love this indicator because you know some of you sometimes i know you know you don't want to draw here draw there draw anywhere you just tired of drawing 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 you want to have a simple indicator that you know just not too late not too early but yeah just nice if if, if it fell you just need to cut loss small cut loss short okay so that's what actually everybody looking for okay now look at this indicator right here okay it start to change to blue color right here uh yeah so that's mean okay in this area right here okay the color start to change okay so that's mean this is your action candle okay to short the market now again i'm not saying that this indicator all the time is correct nothing in the world is 100 percent going to be perfect no such thing like that but the one thing right here that is logically that you can control is your stop loss okay what if the trade went wrong if the trade went wrong the things that you in control is your your stop loss. Now, the stop loss that you can control, if you want to put it about 20 pips, up to you. You want to put 30 pips, up to you. But I recommend in this indicator, you put 40 pips as your you know, stop loss because at least it give a room to breathe a little bit. Okay, so you can have a 40 kind of stop loss. Now, uh, let me have uh, another case right here as well. Okay, now, okay, I give you example right here. Guys, I tell you that this indicator is not magical indicator but it's a very technical kind of indicator. We designed it that, you know, it's not going to be, this idea is it's not too early, not too late. You don't want to catch the most top and bottom. You don't want, you want to catch actually when it start to trend, change and move in momentum. That's what actually we target, okay? Trend change and move in, you know, move in the trend. So look here, uh, guys, can you, can you see this blue color here? Tell me if you guys can see. Because some of you, I think you cannot see, guys. Okay, can you see this blue color right here? I, I show you here. There's a there's a green, there's a green color start to turn into blue color here. So this is the action candle right here. 
it start for you to short green turn into blue means to short that's mean your action candle will be on this side okay this is you're going to be your action candle okay now assume that you prepare your stop loss 40 pips right here 40 pips one two three four okay so around here 40 pips okay so around 40 pips right here your stop loss is going to be somewhere around here okay and then you hold say for example you hold this trade right here the indicator if the color is continue red color right here just continue hold longer into your short position okay just hold it if the color is still not changing just don't do anything this is for those who really want to take a big swing right here okay now assume this is going to change right here okay it does retrace a little bit okay and let's see how far it it go okay so the color change somewhere around here okay i just going to mark guys i hope you guys can see so i'm just going to put a marking right here this is the action candle right here for the train change okay so train change somewhere around here okay so this is going to be action candle right here so assume that you swing from this level to this level right here so in this area right here if you swing at least it give you about 105 pips who 105 pips guys tell me if this consider is this consider a good swing my friend tell me how many of you can have a patient to swing this from what date is this um let me have a look here uh da -da -da -da. okay okay you see sometimes trading you need to be patient especially those swing trader right here you trade on the 4th of november right here and you exit your trade right here about 14. So that means it's about 10 days. Guys, tell me 10 days, you hold this position right here for 100 plus pips, but you don't need to monitor your laptop all the time. It does give a room for those who are working, those who have a job, those who want to do this part time. This kind of indicator for me is not a magical indicator, but for me, technically, it's very 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 interesting to have this kind of indicator okay now i can say it like this even a housewife okay even a small little kids if if i give this indicator i say little baby <laughs> if this color green turn into blue get ready to short the market if the color still continue red haul into your shot until the color start to turn blue you exit the trade do you think even a little young people easy to understand this indicator <laughs> doris say it's wonderful so yes i hope that uh, you know i'm not saying this indicator is magical but i'm saying that after we refine it we redesign it we found out like this is not too bad you know it's really okay for those who want to swing okay and okay let, let me give you one example again here okay so this is the case of the blue color changes here okay and then your action candle is somewhere around here okay and then if you have a 40 pips of you know uh, stop loss right here somewhere on this area okay and then you swing okay so give yourself a little bit room like 40 pips okay it's just just nice okay now let's have a look here from this area right here it does travel okay so from this area you you buy and then look how far you go 60 pip not too bad you just take a 50 pips alone like say for example you don't want to swing up high you fix your tp1 just 50 pips and you're done this one give you 68 pips guys tell me is it is it okay to have this kind of system to trade you know is it doesn't require you to <laughs> to really draw that much yeah okay so this is uh you know the system that uh we we try to design right here because it's so you know in trading the forex market right here if you guys want to understand past 10 years past five years experience you know when we throw too many indicators we do a lot of uh, you know trend lines right here i found out like many traders found out it's quite difficult especially i discovered that um you know uh, certain people right here when you you know you don't have a real experience in the market so you found out like scary a bit you know you want to correct do the red trend line sometimes you miss the spot you feel scared you know whether you do right support right resistance you know but the whole idea is actually you want to swing with the energy right here so it took us a couple of years right here to just look at this a little bit now this system is not 100 percent perfect but 
once you manage to capture the right area right here, you can, you know, uh, you know, you can swing, uh, you know, swing nicely. Now, can it fail? I want to show you all tonight that it can fail. But when it fell, where you want to cut? There's a two ways to cut uh, this, this kind of trade, okay? So I show you guys here. So in this area right here, it's a little bit choppy trade, okay? Because this market right here tried to determine whether it's going to be sideways or continue trending, okay? So, okay, so I show you guys here that, okay, now, guys, you can see here that this area here is the beginning of shorting, okay? But around this area right here, the price start to change again assume that you really trade follow this color here you enter somewhere here short and you exit here so you hit about 24 pips is it is it manageable risk guys 24 pips tell me even though you follow this one but you you hit cut loss but the cut loss here is about you know 24 pips is it 24 pips is is manageable risk I'm not saying that our program, our system here is going to be 100%. There's no one can take you 100% uh, perfect. But if it is, there's a risk, can you handle 24 pips risk here? Just go ahead and time out the chat box. And you continue your riding again. So uh, you want to re-enter again here. Okay, your action candle somewhere around here. Okay, and then you re-enter again the trade here. Okay, so it does travel here around 80 pips, <laughs> guys. Wow, that's all I can say right here. Okay, so those this coming Saturday, I'm gonna have uh, live coaching right here, uh, full program. Okay, and then followed by Sunday and followed by uh, Monday live trade and Tuesday live trade right here. So congratulations for all the UFP uh, students right here, Doris. Congratulations. We have Bruce. We have Loretta, who, who else right here? Uh, those who already subscribed to UFP right here, this indicator right here, we are going to give you as a wonderful present. And I'm, I want to share with you guys here one thing here is I really hope that, you know, you can be successful uh, trading in this market right here. And those who, you know, lost a lot in the market previously, I want you to learn to open up yourself and, why not just give yourself another one more chance right here to possibly to recoup your losses. And those who beginner in the market right here, you are the most lucky one because you managed to skip a lot of error for many, many years of our experience and many traders experience right here. You cut a lot of your learning process right here and learn how to trade it right. Okay, so wow. Is it a very interesting night tonight? Yeah, so this is indicator right here that we're gonna give you all, and I'm going to follow up with you all every single few, I will up, update with your progress and really hope to see that one day this uh, trading right here can give you a uh, you know, consistent income in your trade. So this is right here, we have this indicator, it's called the UFP uh, divergence, it's called the UFP hidden swing, okay? The function is, I tell you all again, not too early to enter, but not too late also to enter, but it's just nice. The system right here to discover the trend change and to follow up with that momentum. Okay, so those who want to know more about these indicators right here, uh, yes, we do have a specific program right here for those who want to trade and those who want to join. Uh, in this program right here, we do have a UFP program. Shortly, I will share with you all more about this. Okay, I will share with you more. Now, I want to share with, be, with you all before I talk about this UFP program, I really want to share with you all about uh, the 10 mistakes of the Forex newbies, okay? Uh, this has happened to a lot of uh, newbies traders right here. So I'm going to share with you the top 10 mistakes of Forex newbies, okay? Number one is trading without a plan. Uh, I'm talking about you are still newbie. You never join any learning course. You never attend course. You do read ebook i understand you do watch some youtube i understand you watch here a little bit here a little bit there but because you want to trade quickly you jump blindly into trading the forex market you still have no idea about technical analysis you don't have idea about money management you still do not know how to actually to understand whether you are a scalper you are intraday trader you are swing trader or your position trader you still do not know what kind of trader you are 
you jump into the market and trade and you loss and you blame so this is the mistake right here number one so please guys if those who are listening right now if you are still newbie right here please invest in your knowledge first because by investing in your knowledge first you can avoid a lot of losses a lot of you know you know your money to get burned down the drain now ask all of them right here they understand some of them the trader right here they got burned some even twenty thousand ringgit thirty thousand ringgit previous day uh, i managed to hear some news also they just get burned about one hundred thousand some of traders right here they have a lot of money guys i some of them they got money but still also uh they don't want to invest in education for me it's important right here if you still newbie right here please invest in your knowledge first learn the correct way first there's a there's a program right here for you to learn so go and learn first and slowly trade the market don't worry guys the market is every day is going to be there all right you are not too late to learn you always have the time so number one here the mistake is trading without a plan means also trading without a proper knowledge okay so that's the mistake number one number two right here those who already trade in the market right here yeah you know the biggest challenge is actually you do not know how to cut loss a lot of traders right here they you know when coming to cut loss they just reluctant to cut loss so they love to run the losers but when coming to profit they are very quick to take the profit because they're scared that the profit will run away so when coming to take profit they take too quick sometimes there's an idea that you know you can write the trend again right here is many traders actually they do not know how far it can go now if i give you the you know the indicator that i gave you just now at least it can tell you how strong is the bullish trend am i right so uh running losers cutting winners so this is those who uh let their you know losing more and profit they cut quick okay so this is mistake number two number three right here some of you want to become a hero you want to become you know kamikaze in uh, trading okay you like to trade without stop loss i tell you guys there's a case right here one trader right here trade without a stop loss okay happened in january where the japanese yen movement almost 700 pips within one day just imagine if you trade without a stop loss you can hit margin call means you can lose whatever but uh, you know profit or you whatever capital that you have in your account so it's very dangerous you know trading without a stop loss number four right here go all in some of you you know make forex like a casino first time you trade you win second time you trade you win third time you trade you win suddenly the greed you become greedy you want to go all in then you throw all your chips okay some of you is like that you know you want to double up triple up very quick as if like you have a competition you want to become quicker richer faster i'm not sure some of you why you want to do that so please don't do that it's not competition who is the richest fastest the quickest there's no competition here trading forex is about more about consistency so don't go all in and trade like a gambler because if you go all in okay i will tell you all there's a story and it's in front of me in front of me is happening my friend put all chip all in ninety thousand ringgit he hoped that night he can make three hundred thousand ringgit profit and that night he lost everything it's only left after hit margin call only left one or two hundred dollar the rest all gone because greed because too overconfident so guy please watch out don't trade like a gambler number five right here over trading sometimes you know over trading is not that really good as well because every day like you feel like you want to you know you want to press the button so that's the reason why we i show you guys like why we do hedge fall because it gives you a chance right here you, you know sometimes i feel like you don't need to be in front of your laptop too long you have a life my friend you have a spend time with your kids spend time to do your work you know so you need to balance right here not to over trade not every single two three hours that you know you need to click the button you know some of you right here your hand is so itchy you want to click every day sometimes you don't see anything you still want to click <laughs> right i know this is what happens so if you over trade and you are a little bit impatient like say for example you buy suddenly the price doesn't go towards your direction you get impatient you cut loss and you find again another trade you become impatient so it will cost you actually lost a lot to the brokers broker fees and spread Okay, so this is mistake number six, over trading and impatience. Okay, 
Number seven, averaging loss trade. Please don't do this, okay? You already supposed to cut loss, you add in more, and the price continue go down, you add in more, you average loss, and suddenly the price go further down, you lose even more. So don't average your losing trade. Number eight right here, analysis paralysis. You are good. I'm not saying that you're not good. Some of you right here, you read John Murphy Bull. Some of you right here, you read Elliot Wave, uh, you know, theory. Some of you right here already study all the books. Some of you, if I, I go to your home, I can check your, your shelf right there. You can have 20 to 30. Some of you even with 200 books of technical analysis. Let me ask you one question right here. So how's your trade after reading 200 plus book? Do you have problem? Because it's happened to me. It's happened to me. I read too many books until I got analysis paralysis. Means what? I put too many indicators. This indicator, that indicator, put all together. Indicate this first indicator tell different uh, answer. Second indicator is contradict. End up, you have too many indicators. You do not know what to do. Did this ever happen to you? If this ever happened to you, number eight right here, analysis paralysis. You want sometimes actually to make it simple. The simple giving you more edge, the better. Okay, it's all right, guys. Some of you do not know about Elliott Wave. It's all right. Yeah, I know some of you can talk to your friend, you know, complex, you know, trending, you know, you can talk about one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. There's a leg one, two, three. Impressive. At the end of the day, we should make money. If not, you can talk to me, me about the pattern of a godly, or, you know, you can talk harmonic patterns, everything. Yes, you can do that. At the end of the day, if that pattern you study, you make your money, okay, go ahead with that. No problem. I, I tell you guys, there's no problem with all this analysis. As long as it gives you an edge, why not? But sometimes I believe simply is the best. So don't have this analysis paralysis where you have too many indicators. Number nine, quick reach mindset. Today, if you listen right now, oh, I just saw Mr. Ezon show the indicator just now. What if I put $50 today and tomorrow, uh, one week, it become $500? No, it's not going to happen like that. It's not like today, $50 that you put next one week it become five hundred dollar or fifty dollar you put right now is straight become one thousand dollar some of you right here hope that you just put fifty dollar next week become five thousand dollar please do not have a quick rich mindset because if you have a quick rich mindset with unrealistic goal the market will eat you up not only that the broker even will eat you up because some of the broker is very good in you know hitting your stop loss okay now number 10 right here revenge trade First time you lost, you can tahan, you can still stand. Second time you trade, it hit your stop loss. Third time you trade, it hit your stop loss. Now you only left balance and you say that one go, one shot, I want to cover back all. And you went in and you revenge the trade. And every time you re revenge the trade and the trade doesn't go to your way, you end up like this guy. So please make sure that you only have one laptop right here. Please don't throw that laptop as well. Okay, so again right here, don't revenge trade. Now I'm saying that revenge trade. I'm not saying that just like, you know, just purposely I put revenge trade like this because I ever did this mistake too. I ever revenge trade. You guys not alone. We are all here as a friend. You know, before this, I, I really revenge the trade. I get frustrated because one time, two time, three time loss, you do not know what happened to the market. And I went all in and all got burned. It happened to me many, many years ago. So I learned right here is not to, you know, over trade. When you know how to manage your risk right here, definitely you will net, you will not go margin call. Okay, so I learned a lot right here from experience. So I compile everything right here. My team and I compile all this right here at the UFP. Okay, so right here, those who want to have that indicator right here, especially the hidden swing. Actually, we have more indicators right here to help you to trade. But those who want to have that kind of ind indicators right there, you can join this program right here. We just launched right here this program right here, Ultimate Forex Program UFP. is 100% complete modules right here, complete online learning course right here. Regardless, you're a beginner or advanced trader or you are the category A traders right here, you like to recap back what you learn. This is, I can say, the most complete learning program right here. I can see in the market right here. I can say Ultimate Forex Program is the complete program from A to Z. You guys can see right here the comment right here. Uh, we have many of them right here. They say a lot of things right here they learn. Am I right, guys? A lot of info right here that you shortcut your process. Instead of a three years, you shortcut into less than 
maybe some of you already finished watch I have one uh, subscriber right here from Singapore already watch finish all the five modules and get ready for the life coaching so very interesting right here so Ultimax Forex program is actually a simple program. It's compact, well designed right here. Uh, the idea is actually we want to guide every newbie traders, beginner, even an advanced trader right here to use a unique trading strategy right here so that you can have a better entry, better profit with low risk right here in the Forex market, regardless the market is up, down, or sideways. Okay, so uh, we have five modules all together. If I can share with you, those who uh, join this program right here, we will give you your learning portal right here. The moment you log in right here, there's a five interesting modules right here. It's already prepared for you. So when you click right here, we also give you the notes. Okay, I give you a show right here. So view module number one here, introduction to foreign exchange. So we cover up uh, a lot of part right here. So all together right here, okay so all together right here we do have a total of 88 videos all together right here okay so 88 videos all together okay so uh this is a very 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 powerful videos right here we also include the trading strategies we also give a trading psychology and money management you guys don't want to miss out so for more info right here actually we will send you the link for those who are interested to get this package right here you can go to this link right here shortly our team right here will share with you this uh those who are interested to get this package right here we could, because we have a special promotion for less than 48 hours in conjunction with the 12 step promotion so this is the the learning course that you're going to get module one introduction to foreign exchange we have 19 videos all together waiting for you okay we have a module two right here to teach you how to use your trading platform module number three right here price forecasting methodology all the technical analysis right here we share with you all right here until 23 parts module number four right here the proven trading strategy okay i will share with you part one five six and we'll soon i'm going to add in one more videos right here which is what you guys see just now is that's going to be surprised video as i'm going to add in here for part number seven okay and part number five right here trading psychology and money management so this is pretty much a uh, very complete modules right here before you become a pro trader before you become an elite trader so this is the part right here that you must go through and i can say that i'm very proud to say that this is going to be one of the best ever learning uh, course right here that you're going to have okay especially for the forex market so uh right here for those who are interested to get this package right here uh let me check right here yes our team right here already sent you you guys can see on your link right now we have this program right here uh, those who sign up right here, especially special uh, program right here for those who sign up within these 48 hours because we have a 12 12 promotion right here. Those who sign up within these 48 hours, okay, not only that you get this special promotion, special price right here. For those who want to know the special price shortly, I will share with you. But those who sign up in less than 48 hours, we are going to give you three awesome bonuses right here bonus number one we're going to give you three months free access to trading signal just in case if you use the indicators okay you already trade with the indicators but you would like to get more signals for your trade we're going to give you this three months free access to this trading signal now i share with you this trading signal right here ctk trading signal right here i share with you those who already use this uh you know this program right here look this is why we have uh, one of our traders right here he made about um 100 at sorry Make profit of $199 with only $250 capital. So this is very interesting. Uh, we have one trader make $678 profit with these indicators. Uh, we have one actually traders right here. Let me have a look. Uh, yes, this trader is actually from USA, uh, from United States of America. He trade with uh, just less than uh, $2,000 capital and he make her first week is $700. So it's, you know, this trade is very aggressive, but look, this is very interesting result right here. Yes. So we want to give you this for those who sign up this package right here in less than 48 hours. We're going to give you this three months access to free uh, access to CTK trading signal worth 493 ringgit. We're going to give you for free. That's one for those who sign up in less than 48 hours. Those who sign up later after 12, 12 you will net, you will never get all these three promotion. None. Okay. So, 
uh, three months pro, uh, three, uh, three months free access to CDK trading signal. Number two right here, three months free access to CDK trading pad pro. I love this trading pad pro because you can take your profit in stages, TP1, TP2, TP3, and have a smart stop loss, okay, and a very smart break even mechanism to, uh, you know, to protect your capital. So this one we're gonna give you this virtual trading pad pro. Uh, for those who are using MT4, this would 412 ringgit. We're gonna give you for free three months access. And the most important part right here, you guys are gonna have a live coaching with me. Besides, you not only have your online learning course that you can access 24 hours not only that those who sign up this program right here these courses right here 88 modules right here you can access for lifetime but one thing right here those who sign up less than 48 hours i want to share with you that i want to give you a special bonus right here we're going to have four days live online you and me we're going to talk like this live discuss together right here i'm going to give you four days uh, four days live coaching online coaching that is worth 2499 ringgit and it's going to happen this weekend right here 14 uh, 14 december uh, 14 15 december saturday sunday is going to be full eight hours program we're going to start nine o'clock until five i'm going to send you the schedule for those who already signed up this package this coming Friday, we will send you the full schedule right here. So stay from the comfort of your home. You can listen to me live for this live program. And Monday, Tuesday, nighttime, Malaysian time, 8.30, okay? You can join me for the live stream. We learn together, especially for this newbie. you still scared to click the button buy. We're going to hold your hand together and we're going to press the button together. We're going to take profit together. We're going to cut loss together and we will follow up your progress for the first two months, three months, six months, one year. So this is what we're going to have in this program. So four days live online coaching is only available for those who sign up 48 hours before 12, 12 and before 11, 59 p.m. nighttime before 12, 12 promotion end. Okay, so for those who want to get this package right here, you can access to this program right here. Uh, click this link right here. You can know what is the latest promotion of UFT complete online course. You can go ahead and click this button right here. And for those who are interested right here, we'll send the link also for those who want to get more uh, info about this package. Okay, yeah, Anissa, you want? Yes, yes, you can click this link right here if you want. So make sure that you sign up before, uh, you know, 12th time because after 48 hours, all these three bonuses right here, we will remove it and you will never access it again, okay? So you cannot get this special promotion. This is only for those who sign up within 48 hours, okay? Those who make a quick decision like that, okay? We, you make quick decision, you make a smart decision right here, you always end up get the best right here, okay? But it's all right for those who want just to look at it you still want to just understand it for a while there's no rush for you it's okay we have another special promotion for you right here a special bonus for you because you guys are watching our show today we have a special gift for all the audience right here today and it's worth 699 ringgit and i'm going to give to you because you all are a special audience that's listening to me for about one hour plus right here and i want to say congratulate and thank you at least that you learned something about the outlook and you learned something and hopefully i can you know give you more impact in your life so i would like to give you right here today to all the audience tonight today those who are watching this program i'm going to give you this special gift worth 699 ringgit for free what is that on the live coaching this coming saturday i will give you access full day one day for free you will joining me on the 14 december 9 a.m to 5 p.m so that's the first introduction of the program you will learn with me together you can ask me any question okay so i'm gonna give you this for free and plus okay we're still going to discuss right here hopefully hopefully we're still going to discuss about this but right now we're going to give you free access live coaching with me free but unfortunately on the second day third day fourth day you cannot access already the coaching okay so i'm going to give you day one coaching for free okay so it's worth 699 ringgit and hopefully we will discuss with our team right here not only that we're going to give you this uh, live coaching right here hopefully we will give you a simple access right here a free tour to online our online learning course right here ufp okay at least the module 
number one. I don't promise this one. We still have to discuss about this. But live coaching definitely you get. But at least you can access view module number one right here. Okay, this one is alone already cost few thousand ringgit. This alone already cost more than two thousand ringgit plus. All this video right here, we would like you to, you can access this for free as well. And also the library right here, when you click library, we want you to access the e notes as well. Module number one, you can access all the notes, but module two, three, four, five, you can access the notes. Indicator also you can access, but uh, you know, you can access the other part for free. So uh, that is part of a thank you for us to you. And we also want to give you more value so that hopefully that you have the right footing in your learning. So uh, that one is actually part of a gift for you. So how to get that gift? Because since tonight, you all register with us, you give your name and your email. We will send you the special link for the webinar. Live coaching this coming 14, we're going to give to your email. So make sure you stay tuned to your email. Okay, we're gonna give you that link. And still there's a discussion right here, uh, whether you can access the online course uh, for you know the full module number one. Okay, now those who VIP, you can access all the learning modules and plus you join me for full four days learning course, plus you also get three months CDK trading signal and three months CDK Trading Pad Pro. So this is the advantage for those who sign up early, less than 48 hours from now. Okay, so this special gift right here for those who don't want to sign up, don't or not, you know, you haven't made up your mind, is okay, you take your time right here. Okay, don't force yourself. You only feel like if you are ready, your budget is ready, then okay, you feel like you want to sign up, then it's okay. But don't forget, we still have this free gift right here, then go ahead, just learn with me. This coming 14 right here, I would like you to prepare your pen and paper right here. For those who still newbie right here, I would like to coach you the full four days, eight, uh, the full one days for eight hours from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, make sure your internet is good. I would like to guide you how to start it right in trading Forex market. Okay, so that's a free gift, okay, to you. And I want you to start it right. Okay, so once again, on behalf of Quan Solution right here, thank you very much to all of you right here. Uh, guys, give me a feedback right here. Did you learn something right here? Did you learn something here tonight? This info right here, is it help you all out? If yes, just go ahead there, type on the chat box uh, right there and give me some feedback right here. And I, I wanted to say thank you right here to all of you right here. Tonight, I get the chance to get to know you all better. And some of you right here, I remember your name already. We get Anissa, Doris Fong, we have Eric Tan. We have Fahmi Faiz, we have Bruce, we have Loretta right here, Steven, we have Joseph right here, Hazim, all of you right here, special people right here, and all those who are watching right here, haven't given a comment also right here, you all are special people to me right here tonight. Thank you very much for joining me right here, and um, yes, and for those who want to follow me in the Telegram and to get more info, don't forget to uh, join me right here at uh, HTTPS uh, TME slash Isan Constantine and I think my team will send a message right here shortly uh, to you guys right here. You can click and join me at my new Telegram right here. I will share more info at the Telegram group right here. So once again, everyone, thank you so much right here and I appreciate your time right here to spend time with me and I hope that you have learned a lot right here and hope to see you all again right here. And for those who joined the UFP program once again, congratulations and welcome. And those who already signed up right here, see you all this coming 14, 15, 16, and 17. And for those who uh, haven't made your mind right, uh, yet uh, to join our program, it's all right. Please enjoy your free gift. Do watch out your email. We're going to send you the free gift, okay? So once again, on behalf of Quant Solution, we'd like to say thank you and have a great day. Once again, my name is Ezon Constantine, certified financial trader, and also the founder of Quant Solution, and on behalf of Ultimate Forex program, and also Quant Solution, we want to say thank you, and I am signing off. Bye guys, and good night.